Hi, I'm Tasma Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make a natural perfume stick. Now let's get into the lab. Okay, so here I have my phase A ingredients. Now, first things first, you want to pick some lipids that are light and long spreading. You want them to be light and drying so they don't leave a oily residue on clothes or the skin so they don't transfer onto clothes. You don't want anything too heavy or greasy. So I've chosen some Lexafil Natural here. I'm also going to add in some Dermaphil Sensolve. These are naturally derived esters. Now when it comes to waxes you want to get a good balance of hard and soft waxes. So I've chosen some Knorbel wax. This is going to be my hard wax and I've also chosen some beeswax here. So this is going to give a nice stick consistency. So it's going to be strong enough so it won't break but we don't want to use too much hard wax otherwise it will become brittle. Um, and you don't want to use too much of a soft wax otherwise it will be too soft that when you apply it, it will just squish. So you want to get a good balance of both of those. Next I'm going to add some mango butter. This is for marketing and also to help condition the skin. Okay, so once that's all melted, you can remove it from the heat and let it start to cool just above setting temperature so we can add our phase B ingredients. Okay, so once that has set to just above setting temperature, I'm now gonna go in and add my phase B ingredients. So this is my fragrance and also my tocopherol. So because it's a natural product, I am gonna go in with the natural fragrance. I've got the mango colado here from Keith Harris. Um, so you want to use a natural fragrance. We don't recommend using essential oils only because their scent doesn't last as long as a scent or a fragrance does. So we are going to be adding a natural or naturally derived fragrance here. Now you do want to use a relatively high input, about 10%. So I'm just going to add this in. And we want to add a bit of tocopherol as well. Okay, so now we're gonna pour it off while it's still hot. This will take some time to uh, set, so we're gonna leave it overnight. So we're gonna pour it off into a container like this and let it set overnight, come assess it the next day. Okay, so it's the next day. I also managed to pour off a little bit into this uh, little container here. This is the quad pack recyclable and refillable um, containers. I've actually done another video in these. It is the natural foundation stick. So I will put the link below here. You can go have a look. Really good packaging, recyclable and refillable. So this is what my perfume stick is looking like the next day. And as you can see, it's just gliding over nicely on the hand there. And it's not leaving a grease residue at all, as you can see. And the smell is really, really nice and quite strong. And there you go. That's how easy it is to make a natural perfume stick. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications on all our videos. Happy formulating.